Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and in this show we're going to be talking about Get Damon. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use get daemon in order so that you can uh, share files between computers. I'm actually also going to show you a little uh, bit of using uh, SSH as well. So I have one computer up here, and I'm just going to run an ifconfig just quickly, and you'll see that you know this IP address is you know dot three. And then over here, I have another computer that I SSH'd into. So, and with this one, I'm running on IP address 6. So, just to show you that they are different. And I'm going to run get daemon on this one. So, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about you know what this is and what these commands do. All right, so we have the base path which will start uh, sharing uh, repositories based on wherever you are from that as your base path. Now, um, since I'm in a Git repository, it will only share this particular repository. If I was in a folder that had multiple repositories in it, it would share all of them if I have export all uh, set up, which I do. And uh, otherwise, it would just share the ones where you set uh, export uh, OK, which I, I'm, I know you have to put that into some file, but I don't remember offhand. If you look at the help, uh, the help file for uh, get daemon, you'd be able to find, figure that out pretty quickly. And I also have uh, dash dash verbose just so I get uh, a command line just uh, logging of what's actually happened. So I'm going to run that. And I'm going to go back over to my other computer, clear this, and I'm going to do a get clone, and I'm going to use the get protocol, type in the IP address, and basically we're just going to go from the root, which will be the base directory that we set, and I'm going to put that in Grails. Two, which actually earlier I cloned the Grails repository in here just when I was testing. So this is the full-on Grails repository, and oh, already exists. So let's give it Grails three and run that. Now, one thing you'll notice is that uh, Git is actually very efficient. It's very quick. Uh, so this is you know a couple hundred meg uh, repository and it's just you know blasting right through it so if you don't have that you know that much to go over this will go really fast so your commits should go really quickly um, you know when you're using get so that's almost done right there and what we'll do is we'll go in there just to Prove that it's there and do a get K. And as you can see, here's our repository, the commits we made in previous uh, tutorials, whatnot. So that's one way. Another way uh, that you can uh, actually pull get is through SSH. So what I'm going to do is go back here. Uh, just so show you this quickly is uh, you know here's the logging from uh, the dash dash verbose. We get the connection info, you know what was done, and that's pretty much it. So we'll disconnect that just so that that's not running, and then we'll do a get clone ssh colon slash slash. Um, so it's And then, actually, we're going to cheat and go over here and print the working directory because since SSH doesn't have that base directory, we have to specify the whole path. 
um, unless you have, you know, it set up to go, to, you know, for your SSH for particular users to end up in particular paths and all that. But so we have the whole path here, and we'll put this in Grails four. And let's see. So usually, uh, you know, you'd have to specify your username at, uh, you know, SSH and all that. Uh, but since my username is the same on both machines, I get away with not doing that. So we'll hit enter. And it should. Let's see. What's going wrong here? Get clone SSH. Actually, hmm, should be asking me for my password right about now, but for some reason it seems to be getting hung up. Get clone SSH. Oh, yeah, that would be why. Because I put in the wrong IP address. So let's try that again. Put in the password, and you'll see this will go pretty much just as fast uh, as it did over the GET protocol. The different one of the difference between the two is that the GET protocol has uh, no encryption, so you know it's good for like an intranet, uh, but not f uh, for the internet. Uh, so local, you know, network, it's good for like sharing, you know, it's quick, easy to set up for like, you know, for your home network or something like that, but I wouldn't broadcast it over the internet. Now SSH on the other hand is, you know, a bit better, you know, obviously it has, uh, encryption, uh, but you have to set up users and passwords and manage that, uh, you know, there are some other systems for, you know, managing Git repo, like uh, Git Alight. Uh, I think there's one called Git Osis, which, you know, both sound like, uh, you know, diseases. But uh, those are the, the two management, uh, ser server management uh, Git tools that are out there. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on either one of those because uh, I've actually never used them and don't know how to set them up. But there are some tutorials out there. Uh, and other than that, there's GitHub, which I showed you, uh, before, which you could, you know, you can clone down, down from that. And that usually gives you, uh, options to clone over SSH and over, um, HTTP. You can also do, uh, get over HTTP for read only access. Usually I know there are that you can do set it up to do, uh, push access, but usually you don't also with uh, get daemon just to mention the push access since uh you know this repository is not a bare repository like a centralized repository you generally do don't give it push access with get daemon uh and you generally don't have that with uh with ssh either but there is an option which would allow you to push it for if you had a centralized repository where, you know, when you initially made it, you made it a bare repository with no working directory. So that's pretty much it for uh, Get Daemon and uh, SSH. Uh, I'll see you next time.